Their appeal was simply irresistible. Dunny's captivating purple socks and piercing gaze, coupled with Marie's playful yet endearing banter, solidified their status as America's beloved siblings throughout the 1970s. Their journey to stardom traces back to the 1960s, when Donnie became part of the renowned Osmonds, a quintet comprised of him and four of his seven brothers. By the 1970s, Donnie had emerged as a popular solo artist, with hits like Sweet and Innocent and Go Away Little Girl, and so had his younger sister Marie, one of the youngest singers of her time, achieved a remarkable feat at the age of 13 by topping the Billboard country music charts with her debut single Paper Roses. As the successful siblings continued their musical journey, they began recording duets and embarking on tours together. Their collaboration culminated in the creation of the cherished variety show Donnie and Marie, which aired from 1976 to 1979. Produced by the Osmond family, the show became a beloved staple in American entertainment. At the time of its premiere, Donnie, 18, and Marie, 16, were the youngest entertainers in TV history and host their own variety show. In 2008, several decades after pursuing individual projects and establishing their own families, Donnie and Marie reunited on stage. Their comeback took place in Las Vegas, where they embarked on an unexpected 11-year residency at the Flamingo Las Vegas Hotel and Casino. Surprisingly, the duration surpassed the initial expectations of the beloved duo, who had originally signed a contract for only a six-week run. This insanely talented family is not an easy one to forget. Currently, Donnie is doing a solo residency at the Flamingo through May and Marie is just living her life to the fullest and crossing things off her bucket list. You can follow her adventures on social.